Recent months, we have heard about mutations of the coronavirus popping up overseas, making their way here to the U.S. Now, researchers in California are working to learn more about a variant that may have originated right here in our state. Joining us to talk about that and what we know so far, Dr. Davy Smith, Chief of Infectious Diseases and Global Public Health at UC San Diego. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Dr. Smith, what do we know about this California variant at this point? We don't, we don't know a whole bunch. We know that there's some mutations that occurred in the spike protein that uh, the virus uses to get into our cells when it infects us. And then we also know that that variant, those uh, mutations seems to be spread more often. So that gives us what we call a variant of concern that it might be more infectious or more transmissible. So the BBC is reporting today that scientists in the UK are saying the UK variant may be more deadly based on just some early data. They're also saying there's a possibility two other variants, one in South Africa, one in Brazil, may be less susceptible to the vaccines. How concerned are you about these possibilities? I'm, I'm very concerned about the vaccines and the monoclonal antibody therapies not being used for the not being useful for those variants. That, that's very concerning. I, I'm little suspicious that these variants are gonna be more deadly. The virus doesn't want to kill us. It just wants to spread from one person to another person. In fact, it would like to keep us alive for a long time and have the virus to be able to spread from person to person. So when we see these mutations and these evolutions, we're looking for uh, increased spread, which would tell us more about infectiousness. Of course, uh, vaccines that were, you know, heralded and that they've been cranking out quickly, the possibility that they may not work as well against some of these new variants is very concerning. What do you want to say to folks out there who may already be a little bit nervous or on the fence about the vaccine, who are seeing news reports like this and, and wondering, should I even get it if it's not going to work? I absolutely think uh, people should get the vaccine. I got my vaccine um, and pretty happy about it. Um, and the reason why is we all need to get as much protection as we can. Yes, the virus is going to evolve and it's going to continue to make new variants throughout its life cycle. The more of us that are protected, uh, the less likely that that chance that that virus has to evolve in more and more people. So therefore, later on, we'll have less and less variants, hopefully, the more and more people get vaccinated. And the next step is that we're more than likely going to have to make the next generation of vaccines for these new variants if they become dominant in the population and if our current vaccines aren't as effective as we'd like them to be. Do you foresee this becoming like a flu situation in which we will have to get a coronavirus vaccine every year? It, it is it is possible. We know that, uh, first of all, that the immunity wanes uh, for other infections like viruses, but also other coronaviruses, so that we might need a booster every year or every so many months or maybe every two years um, along those lines. And that's just human uh, natural immune decay. We're too early to know if that's the case, um, but that's definitely what we've been thinking about. And at what point do you think, given the way the vaccine has been rolling out these days, do you think we're going to finally reach a point where things will start to go back to normal? I think we have a long ways to go. I really hope that we can get back to what we called normal before, but I think this coronavirus is going to be with us for a while and we're going to have to continue to uh, socially distance, wear masks when we can and um, really practice good uh, uh, viral hygiene, <laughs> wash our hands, um, not congregate indoors as much and then get as much vaccine out there as we can. Um, all of those together should help us get back to normal as quickly as possible. All right, Dr. Davy Smith, we really appreciate your insights. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.